Get it all. So so shady. Now that's the dumpling thing, Sal. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day... Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Whew! Thank Neptune, my manager is here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite... No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Vacuuming up manliness. on the options menu.
establishment, everything is going to be just fine. I'm really scared, man. You got a name? Phil. <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now, I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, uh, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far-off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Thank <laughs> you. 
you have got to try this new dog broom game. Dog! Where? <laughs> Whoa! Beware of the curse! How much of a man do I have to be? more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. Patrick, you still don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Bring me more and I can grant you the cartwheel move. I have some naval lint. I'm sure you do. Patty, Miss Peggy. 
Okay, Patrick, since you've brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. Wait a minute! Who are you? Don't worry, Patrick. You'll meet me later in the story. Oh, well, I guess that's okay then. How much of a man do I have to be? trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's eight in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, eight o'clock. 
I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing Spongebob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so Spongebob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides Spongebob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as Spongebob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. Bob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese!
You've reached the edge of town and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. <laughs> With the chaos of the Kiwi Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. Now I am the master. Wow! Thanks, Mindy! Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Please, SpongeBob, find a way to destroy those radio towers. Plankton may have taken over Bikini Bottom, but there is no way I'll let him take over this barren patch of dirt in the middle of nowhere. We're men! No. 
manliness, even in the corner. Is the room spinning or is it just me? Oh, <laughs> 
One last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtakingly evil! These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. Did Mickey bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? <laughs> Looks like fireworks. <laughs>
I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one snobby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. Good news, Patrick! You've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. My fluff is the mightiest fluff of all! It's called the Bat Smash. In the air? Yes, you have to be in the air for the smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. Uh, uh, the key, key to the paddy, to the wagon. paddy wagon! Careful. Easy. You got it! can stop the mighty stun thingy! Black Belt, here I come! Reflectomatic! You need to get the key back to start the paddy wagon. Chase that key to the far end of the thug tug if you have to. It's kind of hypnotic. Hey! Treasure! Whoa! Oh, oh god, big snake!
Watch your stuff. Now, Patrick, I also think you can get off of me. You've completed the main challenge here. Gates are locked. You'll have to find all the keys to unlock the gates. The gates out to the main road are locked. Locked? Then how can we drive out? For the paddy wagon and bust through the gates. Sorry, Patrick. For that, we need a super crabby paddy deluxe. You can unlock the gates if you find all the keys around the track.
Done, SpongeBob and Patrick. Here is your reward. <laughs> Yeah, 
to throw in the towel. Luckily, Mindy arrived and showed them what was really going on back in Bikini Bottom. Plankton had transformed Bikini Bottom into Planktopolis. The sight of their city convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. But someone was hot on their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea, and our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous trench. To get to Shell City, you're going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. The only way across the trench is along the bottom, but you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Mmm, the trench is pretty deep. And very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible.
of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross the trench to get to Shell City. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the Sponge Bowl. You'll need the Sponge Bowl to defeat the monsters here. Sponge Bowl? Uh, will a cereal bowl do? 
sorry, SpongeBob, but you need more Goofy Cooper tokens. SpongeBob, you're going to need the Sponge Bowl in order to defeat the monsters here. Come back when you have enough Goofy Cooper tokens, and I'll show you how to Sponge Bowl. Want another Goofy Goober token? Sorry, we don't have any to spare. Patrick, she meant, do we want another token? Right. Get to the bottom of the slide as quickly as you can. If you beat the time, I'll reward you. Oh, man. 
many choices, so we'll come.
monster thing. Challenges. Well, we've got skills. Mad skills. Ooh. Oh, can I have mine now? Please, please, please. Well, if you can beat this manly time down the slide, you will be rewarded. took a while going down the slide the last time. I like to stop and smell the anemones. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward.
Here's your reward, as promised. <laughs> I've got a real challenge for you two. Whoa! Three-legged race? Spelling shuffleboard backwards? Oh, no! No. Rings will appear along this slide. You have a limited time to get through each ring. I'll reward you if you get through every ring. Do you want to try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you.
You've won the time challenge. Here's your reward. <laughs> now I have a real challenge for you. Mindy, we're ready. What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you.
the ring challenge. <laughs> Since you beat the other challenges so easily, I have a tough one for you. Easy? Uh, yeah, it was easy. Oh, very easy. All right, I'll give you a hard time to beat. Get to the end of the road in less than a set time. In this challenge, you have to race against the clock. Well, that sounds easy. How fast can a clock go? I mean, really. Patrick, don't you know that time flies? Bye! No. Well, once I didn't take out the garbage for a month, and it had flies. Is that what you mean? You'll have to fly along if you want to beat this time. Do three laps in less than a set time, and I'll give you a reward.
drive along the way. You have a limited time to drive through each ring. If you go through all the rings, I'll reward you. Have enough Goofy Gooper tokens to earn your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench. Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. <laughs> monsters. Find the way out of this trench so you can stop the evil reign of Plankton.